Okay, everyone. Have a video today. This is not so much a uh, gear review or is it per se as much as it is just showing you a new piece of gear that I have that I've been using today that no doubt you will see in some, some of the videos that we've shot today and some of the videos moving forward. This is a... It's a modular belt interchangeable holster setup, okay? Uh, it was made by RDR Gear. This is not a promo video. I paid for this. It was a concept that uh, me and Jeff, probably, yeah, I guess me and Jeff came up with, that was really based on, hey, when I come out here and we're doing these filming days, or in general, if I'm doing a pistol course or something, I like to bounce back and forth between different guns. I like to go, okay, I'm gonna run a 2011 for a bit and then I'm gonna run a Glock or, or whatever. So I like to bounce around. And I really hate every time I change a gun platform, having to take off my belt and like redo all the shit. Like it's a pain in the ass for me. And like it, it drives me nuts and it deters me from wanting to change and shoot different guns. So uh, we came up with an idea of like, hey, look, let's have some modular shit where it's super easy to interchange in between systems and and in full disclosure jeff cried about it for a while and he was like i don't i don't i don't know if i can do that and that's when he was like i don't i don't know jake if i can do that and and i was like come on dude fucking get some balls and do it and, I, and like i like gave him a pep talk and i slapped him in the ass and he was like i think i can do it and i was like you can do it man like you're big fella like you can do it man like old fella Tad soggy in the midsection versus my midsection, which is not soggy, but you know, you know, yeah, you know. So anyway, so here's what we got. Um, there's an inner belt, okay? This is not gonna be new for anyone. People are used to wearing an inner and outer belt system. So this is there, let me reference this because I don't remember all this, but so uh, what we have is a an enhanced instructor belt. The model is the duty version with the internal tail capture, whatever the fuck that means. Okay. So that's what this is in case you're looking. Um, so essentially we start with an internal belt, Velcroed on, and then we take this bad boy. Now this is gonna look like something out of uh, like a John Wick movie or something, okay? So all we're really doing here, we're taking this bad boy, and then we uh, wrap all the way around. This is day one using this belt for me, so we're still inevitably going to be working out some of the kinks and making little mods and stuff so boom now this is clipped in and so what you will see this whole thing is based on the safari land qls fork system so if i go whatever i'm going to start the day running 1911s grab my 1911 holsters in grab 1911 mags these are in. Say, hey, you know, I might be running a rifle. Might be running a rifle a little bit. Cool, no problem. Take that uh, AR pouch, clip that in. I could also run a third pistol pouch if I wanted to back here. Typically, I'm more likely to run two pistol, one rifle. That's just how I set up. But like, this is super cool now, right? So now I've got a dedicated holster setup that works for that gun. I shoot that for half a day and I'm like, yo, I'm ready to switch to a 2011. Cool, no problem, All right? You just, uh, or let's just say a Glock, just for the sake of changing up the platform a little bit. You say no problem. Grab my Glock. Glock has got a separate holster that was molded to that. Clip in the Glock. Couple Glock mag pouches. Literally inside of 20 seconds, I'm now run up, set up to, to run Glocks. So it's pretty cool, right? And this holster will run a 19 or a 17, just cause 34 is like, I don't know really who shoots Glock 34s. And um, I can do the same thing no matter what the platform is. If I'm going to uh, the 2011s, because really the only three platforms that I personally like own and shoot, 1911, 2011, or Glock. Those are really the things I'm going to run at the range. So I'm going to run a 2011. Cool, no problem. Clip that in, right? Same thing, the holsters come out. Like pick which 2011 I'm going to run, throw the Triarch in, like boom. Now I'm set up for 2011. So, um, this is a lot of shit. I mean, you can look at my truck bed to get a sense for this, but it's a it's a lot of stuff. Because really what I wanted, I want a dedicated holster for, for each gun. So, hey, look, I've got my 2011 section. So I've got an STI, I've got a Triarch with uh, mag mags and uh, mag carriers. 
We've got my Glock set up with mag pouches. Then we've got a few different single stacks. Um, so, you know, there's, uh, hell, actually two Cavits. There's Nighthawk and this Wilson. They, they'll interchange between the same holsters with mag pouches. And then I've got a backup, um, you know, QLS, uh, you know, I guess the basis of, you know, I don't know what technically that part is called, but so that's the, uh, the mid ride QLS system. And then that one would just be hip length. If I didn't want to run quite so low, this is a little bit better for in winter in Utah, we've got colder winter. So we're going to have layers on out here and it's tough to, to, uh, just a draw if, if I'm hip height. So that's nice. And of course, if I wanted to do say a thigh rig, super easy all this shit same works all this same shit works all i literally need is the platform from which to mount and all my holsters are still good this obviously took a while um this was a a custom order thing i asked jeff yesterday when i picked this up i'm like hey just so i know because he basically said i won't do this for anyone else because again he was whining and that time of the month and yada, 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 right? And I was like, seriously, can no one else order this? Because I won't do a video on it if not. And he's like, they can order it. It just can't be with weird guns. And when you say weird guns, I don't know what any of this is weird. This is all mainstream-ish shit. But um, if you have like, uh, you know, whatever, Glocks, MMPs, 320s, wh whatever it is, like if it's standard stuff, he can do something like this. Again, this is not really like a promo video because this was something that we came up with and i paid for and, and all that good stuff but point being like don't be like can you make it for this fucking bullshit weirdo gun but if it's basic stuff um he could do something like this and it's pretty cool like no doubt we'll have some bottlenecks where we go okay we might need to tweak that a little bit but it is a really pretty unique system especially for those of you guys who run a lot of different platforms at the range um yeah just kind of showing you a new piece of gear that we came up with and uh you know seems at least thus far today seems pretty cool so later